I like the fluidity of architecture when we get into a place. You mm. know, like uh, it's not a white cubian space. I believe the coexistence of uh, extremity in life, um, chaos and order. Um, and uh, artists are, you know, they they understand the chaos and they know how to make order. Um, yeah, so uh, the art language, I take it um, uh, maximalism mm. and minimalism. Uh, I have written Ten Commandments, it is taken it from the Biblical notes. But it's nothing to do with the religion. Of course, there are words like religion, God, um, chauvinism, narcissism. The ten words I used, you know, Ten Commandments. Sure, uh, sure. Which I use as a kind of braille language. There is a kind of interesting aspects for me. It's kind of, there is a kind of contradiction or absurdity about it. You cannot really... Uh, Touch, touch and it. touch and breathe, and, and know, breathe is supposed brain, to be touched and, and felt. Experience right. it, you know. Right. Feel it and read it. Right. Here it is your visual reading, um, and you can't make sense of it. Yeah, because sense. we don't know that exactly. Language. Exactly. Right. And that's that. I, I like the aspects of it and how far you can go into minimalism. Mm -hmm. That there the brain language originated in my practice. So this is again referencing real, as yeah. uh, you can sort of uh, obviously tell. I think you know all the musical scores, or you know, even the senses has the language of you know mathematics, you know the, the perforations and all the embossed braille kind of language. But it's not braille. This is kind of again, it is almost like a census of that moment. I work on a graph paper with the dots and um, make these things with, uh, it's all handmade with the help of machine. So the really? kind of, I believe that, you know, working with your own hands mm. are important as an artist. Mm. Not necessarily all the project, of course, you, it's sure. collective work Absolutely. from, from my, you know, work with a lot of people. So that's how it is created. This is on wood card. These card words are, you know, they are artisans from Kerala. I created this entire project in different locations. In Kerala itself, two places. One is in Aramula, is a place called Aramula. Sure. And their Aramula mirror, they make it. Mirror, which I talk about the mirror later. And the wood towers are from Trichur, the district of Trichur. So I wanted to say that I'm also coming from a carpenter's family. Mm, okay, mm. so I I was always interested in designing something, and this is all freehand drawings I had given to them to produce it. It's a wood uh, cut and painted in my studio in Bombay. Mm. This is really religion, you know. This uh, it's endless. These words merge into the space itself. I created aspects of this work and also the the uh, the paper or the wallpaper. Wallpaper is also I have created with uh, you know freehand drawing. I've created all that, but it's of course it's printed in Mumbai and you know I built up this whole thing. Basically, about this project is about obsession. Everything is when you obsessed with the word like religion and God, you you step into a kind of uh, there is a, there is a limit to everything. So that is one of the reason I frame these all this work with a highly highly gilded um, decorated. Uh, it's actually hand carved boots. Everything is hand carved. And use of mirror, use of colors, yeah. and use of very, very ornate, uh, ornate frames. Yeah, this, you know, this this mirror is a special mirror. It's not one sided mirror. It's it's like a yin and yang you are talking about. It's like both the sides, like a coin. Right. Both the sides, it's a mirror, and it is especially artisans created in Kerala. There is a place called Aramula, 
Arunala is known for this Arunala mirror. Mm. And for me, mirror is one of the most important element in my process. When I think about myself, when I think about a mirror, mm. it is not a reflector for mm. me. Mm. For me, it is, it's a receiver. It receives everything in front of it as it is. You know, and with no with no discrimination, with yeah, nothing, yeah. you just yeah, this everything is absorbed it. by it. Mm. Mm. So one of the work, one of the frames I kept uh, that mirror space empty, so that emptiness is also some is cooling. Sometimes you know that accident was, um, for example, uh, was. But you know, like suddenly you, you know, if you are really saying, looking at the work properly, you, then you, you this get comes a as a surprise. Yeah, yes, surprise. yes, yes, yes. Again, this is ten words. You know, again, it is like a mysterious force. Um, darkness visible. Darkness carries light within it. Right. Um, so, I experience it in my day to day when you travel late nights, and you know, you can only see stars in darker spaces. Right? Absolutely. The same with the reflections comes from dark areas. And this is also a kind of chance, making of chance, or making of forms. All this is all musical notes for me, you know. Um, a petal or a leaf doesn't fall just straight on straight. It, right. moves, it moves around. It moves, sort of finds its, its own space. I, it's kind of, yeah, that yeah. kind of um, bigger, smaller, you know, mm. lighter. Mm. So this kind of textures and things are like. So there are nine works here in this room. Mm. God, religion, casteism, Racism, narcissism, nationalism, technology, regionalism, and capitalism. So sure. it can, and it is also placed in such a way that it can move around. You know, like it doesn't have to be the same order. Right. But I think these ten words or nine words uh, um, playing an important, you know, questions to each and everyone's life nowadays. There are 10 uh, words I have used it in this project and sure. also there are, you see this perforations, this is all rail translations rail, yes. of each word. Of, like of, of the word itself. Yeah, right. technology, right. custom, chauvinism, etc. Sure. So it's uh, 10 commandments, you know, like I've taken reference, a biblical reference, but not nothing to do with religion or biblical you know, Bible or nothing. Correct. Like so in a way I have given this ordinary uh, thing uh, consciously, because we believe that you know, um, the obsession is an issue. You know, like any kind of words like this, mm. God is. We we all you know believe in something like you know God, religion, all these words. Right. But when you are really obsessed with something like this, you get into a dangerous zone. So I mean, this is again in continuation with the idea of. Yeah leaving behind something to be found uh, you know many many years later but what's interesting is it says 2019 sort of minus and plus around that and you see it upside down in some you know right visually when you look at it right and this is this is a short chapter the reference is taken from a short chapter and the ribs of the, 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 chakra, the spikes, yeah, the chakra yeah, itself, you know, yeah, is, is incomplete. Yeah. Mm. Um, this is also represent our our time, I feel, mm. yeah. and also I want to definitely give that when I created this project. Interesting.